the uh, uh, Cadbury report of 1992, so it has been 20 years that it has been on. Uh, uh, it's not regulation. It's, it's just a, a set of recommendations in terms of best practices in governance. And my sense is that um, large and publicly listed company uh, did follow these best practices of governance quite well. So one of the things that we remark is that now the majority of the board of directors uh, among large British companies um, are, are dominated by, um, by, by uh, outside directors. And all the, majors, all the major committees uh, within the board are chaired by outside and independent directors. So on the paper, uh, it seems that the course of best practices in, in corporate governance, the, the Cadbury, the so-called Cadbury of 1992, has been quite well followed by large company in the UK. I think that the, the, the Cadbury report has been very, very advanced by, by, by the time that the, the code has, the, this code has been produced. And I think that it is a very good uh, initiative in the UK. And it, it did have large impact in, in the world. But facts are that scandals didn't happen. And I think that there, there, there must have been some problems going on that we, we might just uh, miss out. And so uh, what we did is, just to look at one of the aspects which is very prevalent in the UK and in other countries, which is the social connection in the boardroom. To put it more precisely, the, the social ties between the CEO and independent directors in the same boardroom. And we did find that this is one of the factors that might prevent the board to work effectively. When you look at board of directors, it seems that, you know, you see the same faces everywhere. And it seems that you know the CEO and directors know each other very well, and socially, they are very connected. They can be graduates from the same very famous school. They can play golf together every weekend, or they can belong and work for the same charity in the same city and in the same section. So that's why, when you look at the uh, a typical board of directors of a large company, you have the impression that oh, it is a kind of a small world that happened here. That 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 the sense of our 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 research, and we we basically uh, study whether this fact that the CEO and directors know each other very well, and in most of cases they are socially connected. Remember, those independent those directors are independent financially. But socially, they are not. We, our point is to study whether these informal connections impact the good governance of large corporations. And it turned out that um, social networks um, show some negative impact on, on governance. So for example, uh, a, connected, a socially connected CEO is less likely to be fired uh, after poor performance. That means that connected board let the CEO, let a bad CEO to stay longer than it should, for example. And uh, seem that connected CEOs are not as severely punished for their poor performance as uh, other people, non-connected CEOs. For example, it would be significantly three times easier for a connected CEO to find a new and even better job after being fired in a company. Being fired is painful for everybody, connected CEO and non-connected CEOs, okay? Because only 60% of them would find a new job at all. But when a connected CEO or when a non-connected CEO find a job, then the connected CEO gonna, gonna be more likely to get a better job. That is a sense of our, our research. But in general, being fired is painful for everybody. We see similar recommendations from follow-up regulation all over the world, for example, in the US with the Sabanis Oxley Act of 2002. Basically, the regulator uh, imposed some concrete ratio uh, of independent directors over the, over the board size. Um, our point is that it, by imposing such a ratio, maybe regulation will not be effective. If, if we know about how uh, the board of directors work socially. So the point is not 
to impose more and more regulations. But the point is maybe to make the board work more transparently and make give, to give shareholders more say in the hiring and firing decision of directors and maybe, and last but not least, to put more effort to make the, 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 the market, the, the product market competition um, uh, work, work better. Because I believe that you know, a better competition in the product market will force all the company to behave better in terms of uh, corporate governance.